Ranking the best theme team remix cards in Madden 23. Today we got a new promo drop and today we got theme team remix. This is gonna be a three part promo and I assume with every drop your team is going to get a 99 overall. Now these cards right here are not pictured. We did not get stats for them but I assume they'll get the same abilities as the pass rushers, the receivers and so on. We got Chad Johnson, I'm assuming the wide receiver, Demarcus Ware, Elton Jenkins, Chris Hinton, Alec Engle, James Smith Williams and at 97 overall, Thomas Morstead, Jojo Domain, Trey McBride, Alex Wright, Justin Jones, and Jerry Hughes. And we got 94s right here too. Don't think they'll be too great. Now, all these 99 overalls, I believe they started out as 92s, 93s, and you use tokens to upgrade them to 99 overall. And you get the tokens through the field pass, the quick sell players that I just showed, and I believe house rules as well. Now, before we go in depth with the 97s right here, I want to get all the offensive linemen on the same exact tier because every single one of these offensive linemen get the same abilities. They get zero AP secure protector, which I think is the best ability for offensive linemen in the game right now so literally every offensive lineman i'll go over their name and their team they're all going best at position because they all get zero ap secure protector so we got braxton jones of the bears drew dalman of the falcons andrew thomas of the giants makai becton of the jets we got vitae from the lions right guard equal mcquanu of the panthers jermaine i don't know how to say his last name for the raiders brian allen for the rams mitch morse for the bills Quinn miners for the broncos jamari slayer for the chargers andrew wiley for the chiefs Braden smith for the colts tyler biaz for the Cowboys and lastly Kelvin Beecham for the Cardinals and really you can make a line full of all these guys they all get zero AP secure protector so they're all going to be absolutely amazing now the first player we got right here is 97 overall Glover Quinn I believe you get this card for free doing house rules it may be solos or it may be in the field pass too but you can get him for free and he's a great free safety card 98 speed could be up to 99 with the sugar rush track card or the free agent one has pretty good play rec with 93 good zone good man as well and he can get deep out zone KO or pick artist for zero AP and then I'm assuming one AP everything else so like a deep out mid zone for one ap or if you want pick artists and deep out zone ko again probably gonna be for one ap he is as good as almost any coverage player in the game right now so in my opinion he's going in the great tier he's not like a new like meta card so he's not going to go best at position i think he's right along the lines of like any coverage player in the game and right after that we get james cook i actually really like this card this is going to be my no money spent running back and he might even be my god squad running back because i just i just like james cook and he could be up to 99 speed again sugar rush track card or free agent one really good physical stats and he can catch the ball pretty good he can get a zero ap short and elite as well he can also get tank evasive or goal line back too i'm gonna be rocking the short and elite on him and i think again he is right up there with like almost any running back in the game he's comparable to all of them he's gonna go in the great tier for me and right after that we get dolphins great raekwon davis the one thing i think the dolphins theme team didn't need was another defensive lineman um raekwon davis he's decently physical stats with 84 speed 91 excel has good block shed power moves the finesse moves are a little bit low he does get zero ap inside stuff though or potentially El Toro or goal line stuff. I just don't think he's that great of a card. I'll be honest. I don't want to sound crazy, but I'm, I think he's just like kind of like a mid card, especially with this drop. Maybe you could see him good, but I'm not really too excited for him. I don't even know if I'll pick him up for Dolphins team team. And right after that, we get Dallas Goddard right here. Could be up to 99 speed trigger rush track card. Pretty good run blocker too. Good short, good medium route running. And he can also get short and elite for zero AP. He could also get deep out red zone threat or a uh, tight end apprentice. Again, though, think you want the short and elite for zero AP. To me, he again is just as good as any tight end in the game is he like the best tight end in the game i don't think so i think that's still reserved for tony g but i think he's a great option in the game right so that we got eric armstead 91 speed 92 acceleration good block shed good power moves good finesse moves and again gets the same exact ability buckets as raekwon davis so we're looking at a zero ap inside subs or zero ap el toro player inside stuff for zero on this card i think he is actually a really good defensive tackle card i think he's up there with almost every single one in the game so again he's going to go in the great tier for me and after that we get Roy Robertson Harris again 92 speed 97 excel with great block shed power moves and finesse moves this time for the right ends they can get zero AP edge threat or zero AP double or nothing or he could get no outsiders as well I would rock the double or nothing on him and he hits everything I'm looking for he's good physical stats has good stats as well for me again another great rusher in the game right after that we get Romeo Dobbs uh 99 speed stock has great short medium and deep route running and he's six foot two he's just as good as almost any receiver in the game minus like CD Lamb Amonra Randy that get like two zero ap abilities and he can get short in short out for one ap he's not like game changing or anything but he is a really great receiver in the game once again so again going in the great tier right after that we get jermaine pratt could be up to 97 speed sugar rush track card has great zone coverage and great play rec he's a zero ap lurker player could get tackle supreme as well i just really wish the linebackers didn't need lurker just like it's not a jermaine pratt thing like as a linebacker he's good 
but as an actual player, he's not really even as good as Raekwon Davis. So again, I'm just going to put him in the mid tier. He's good for a linebacker. I just think again, with the AP update, linebackers are really not the move. Right after that, Adrian Phillips, again, could be up to 99 speed, has 99 acceleration, has great play rec as well, 99 man, 99 zone, and can get the same abilities as Glover Quinn. So a zero AP deep out zone KO or a zero AP pick artist player. Again, I'm putting him right by uh, Glover Quinn because I think they're pretty similar stats wise. Adrian Phillips is probably a little bit better. And right after that, we get Odefa Owe right here. This card's actually amazing. He can be up to 99 speed trigger rush track card. Amazing block shed, power moves, and pretty good finesse moves as well. For left outside linebackers, they could get zero AP edge threat or they could get zero AP. I think it's secure tackle or tackle supreme. Either way, they get a tackling ability. And I think situationally, again, LT is a right outside linebacker. Situationally, I think he is the best left outside linebacker in the game. To me, he'll play like a better Mike Evans. So for me, he is going to go best position. I think he is one of the best left outside linebackers or rushers in general, especially if you want someone with that secure tackler ability to help stop some of these AKA X factors. Right to that, we got Rashid Shahid. I believe he is six foot. He's 99 speed, has good short, medium, and deep route running. And again, can get the short and elite for zero. So short and short out for one AP. Just as good as almost any receiver in the game for me. So yeah, I think he's a great receiver in the game. We run Saints team team, really no reason not to pick him up. So yeah, I don't think he's like meta changing or anything, but he's right in the meta app receiver. And right to that, we got Nick Ballor right here. He can be up to 96 speed. Um, Just kind of an underwhelming fullback. I really think if you run him, you probably wouldn't play him. He could get post up for zero and what I thought could be interesting is maybe summoning him at a tight end when you feel like you need a blocker in the post up, like using him to double team. I don't know. You, ne you need to do a lot for him to actually be good. Uh, For me, He's probably the worst one we're going to cover today. So if anyone's going to go trash, it's probably going to be him. And right after that, we got Deontay Johnson. Pretty much exactly what I said about every receiver so far. He's 99 speed, has great route running, short and elite for zero, short out for one. Just as good as almost any receiver in the game, not named CeeDee Lamb, Amon St. Brown, Randy Moss. Literally all the receivers are great. They're 99 speed. And right after that, we got Jeffrey Simmons. Uh, he can get the same abilities as Eric Armstead and Raekwon Davis. I think this card is a beast though so 91 speed 98 acceleration great block shed power moves and finesse moves and i don't know if y'all remember his zero chill card but that card was amazing and he's zero ap inside stuff and also and also zero ap el toro he's going to be one of the best defensive tackles in the game for sure in my opinion and I'll probably drop Eric Armstead in the good because I think it goes Raekwon, Eric, and then Jeffrey Simmons. Right after that, we get Marcus Davenport. Again, 92 speed, 96 acceleration. Great block shed, power moves, and finesse moves. And he gets the exact same ability stack as Roy Robertson Harris. And I think they're very similar cards. I'm um, again, great physical stats. Can get double or nothing for zero AP. So he's going to go right by where I had Roy Robertson Harris in this great tier. And also, I'm just going to move Eric Armstead back up. We don't have any good tier players. I'm just going to move everyone up a tier. And after that, we get Steven Nelson again, base 99 speed. Great Man, zone and press he can go ahead and get deep out ko deep out zone ko or pick artist for zero and again i think he's just as good as almost any coverage player in the game and i don't mean to keep saying that for cbs and wide receivers but I really don't think there's a major difference in what they're dropping with them, if that makes sense. And, and right after that, we got Cody Barton for the Commanders. 95 speed, 98 excel. Good play rec and good zone coverage as well. It's literally the exact same thing I said about Jermaine Pratt. Like, linebackers just really aren't that great. So for me, he's going right by Jermaine Pratt. Literally think the same exact thing in both of these cards. And right after that, we get Joe Tryon with 96 speed, 94 block shed, 95 power moves, 97 finesse moves. He can get 0 AP edge threat or 0 AP tackle supreme as well. To me, I do like Odefa away a little bit better because he can be base 99 speed and i mean he is a little bit better of a rusher too though oh man this is tough i think both of them have a very strong i'm gonna put them both in great because i really can't decide which one's better tryon's a little bit better of a pass rusher odefa owe does have the 99 speed he has 98 which i mean is that the biggest difference in the world I don't think so. So, so maybe it's Tryon that's better than Odefa Owe. But since it's such a conversation for me, I'm going to put them both in this great tier. And right after that, we get Greg Newsome. Uh, again, base 99 speed. Great man. Great zone. Great press. And he can get deep out zone KO for zero. Flat zone for zero. Pick artist or deep route KO all for zero. So literally right by Steven Nelson for me. Again, I think very similar things of them. Now, this is a card that I love. And you can also get him for free. Demarius Thomas right here. This was really cool, I think, of, of EA. To let us get him for free as well. 99 speed. Great route runnings again though i kind of wish they would have gave him two zero ap buckets especially because we got golden tickets as well he's just a short in short out receiver though i love the card and he will be on my team for sure he will be on my team but logically speaking he's not better than like almost any like receiver in the game like not biasly speaking amon or st brown randy moss and cd lamb are going to be are still going to be the best receivers in the game for me and right after that we get lester hayes that again you can get for free base 99 speed corn with great man great zone great press gets the same exact ability stack as steven nelson and Greg Newsom. Um, I can
can see a great argument that he could be best at position, especially in zone coverage. I feel like in man coverage right now, you need the shades. Again, I don't think he's that much better than like Steven Nelson or Greg Newsom. So for me, he's just going to be in this great tier. And now we get the LTDs. I am really excited to use this Denard Robinson card. They did change his card's previous release to Slinger 4. I thought he had Slinger 3. I could have swore he had Slinger 3. Even if his release isn't that great, this is going to be a fun card to use. And for his zero AP ability bucket, he can get Howard Master, Fearless, or Gunslinger. So he should be able to get Quad Stack 4, 3 AP. So I think he's, again, going to be in this great tier. Going to be just as good as any QB not named A-Rod. And right after that, we got Dexter Jackson. Base 99 speed. Great man. Great zone. And really good play rec as well. Gets the same ability stack as Adrian Phillips and Glover Quinn. So 0 AP deep out zone KO, 0 AP pick artist. Pretty much the same things I just said about them. And yeah, he's going to be in this great tier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these people up because I don't really think we got any trash cards today. And also what I'm going to do is if I feel like there was a conversation to be had that you were the best in the game, I'm going to go ahead and move them up. So we're going to move up like all the people that could get zero AP KOs into this best set position. And also uh, Joe Tryon and Odefa Owe. Just to show you guys the skill position players that I really do like. Like I really value the zero AP KOs on these people. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the promo. I think we got a lot of offensive linemen that are great in the game game now a lot of theme teams got zero ap secure people which is a major w i know offensive linemen aren't that exciting i do think a lot of these corners and secondary pieces are really usable it's just the reason why i think it's a little bit underwhelming is because it's not like better than anything we already have right like we have we have a bunch of cbs that can get the zero ap ko's these cards might be a little bit better physical stats might have a little bit better play rec but they're really not like from an ability standpoint that much better i think the best cards in this promo the zero ap secure offensive linemen but i hope y'all did enjoy this video man if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe let me know what cards you're going to be trying to pick up again i think it's going to be a pretty easy now to get zero ap secure on the entire offensive line but yeah y'all if you want to see me grind this program live check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow we've been grinding the chains over there so i would greatly appreciate that now if you don't feel like heading over to twitch and you want another video to watch check this one out right here i made an ohio state theme team in madden 23